A partnership that is very much alive is James's deal with David and Patty Bailey from Warwickshire. Their product, an executive computer mouse, certainly caught the eye of the multimillionaires as they looked for a hundred thousand pounds investment. But it was the couple's combined 60 years of business experience that made an impact on one dragon in particular. When David and Patty walked in, I thought, wow, very smart, very professional. So certainly, first impressions in my mind, it was definitely tick that one. What we intend to do is to build licensed, branded products utilising the intellectual property of the motor manufacturers that we intend to partner with. In fact, I came back from Italy on Thursday night and we already have a contract, a licensing agreement with a major Italian supercar manufacturer. The couple have presented an impressive pitch to the Dragons. Having already established links with glamorous brands, they were hoping the quality of the mouse would appeal to the car-obsessed multimillionaires. The motor mouse product was a little bit blingy, a little bit shiny. It just suits James down to the ground. A little Aston Martin or a roller, I can see it now. The thing that I liked about it is that you got it immediately. It's kind of very executive and I can imagine any one of the dragons going for that. The price point for a branded licensed product would not be this $29.99. I would think it would sell somewhere in the region of $35.99, around about £36 mark. I thought we'd absolutely cracked it then. In fact, I thought they were going to be, you know, fighting each other to, to invest with us. Probably the best quality mouse I've ever seen. And I was waiting for the butt. <laughs> <laughs> but the price point for these needs to go way down. Right? What would you way, suggest? Way, way down. I mean, it, it, you, you would have to start selling these at 20 quid, not 30. So you are way off the mark on that. Even if you're with gonna, the branded. Even with the branded. Do not kid yourself about the branded. So I'm going to wish you the best of luck and say, I'm out. Concerns over price and market size had forced Theo away from the deal, and three other dragons quickly followed. Only James Kahn could salvage the couple's hope of investment. Everybody was going down what I thought was the conventional consumer. You know, is this a retail product? Is this a retail opportunity? But actually, if you look at the niche market, in niche market areas, I think this market is big enough. So as soon as the other dragons made their positions very clear, it gave me a lovely opportunity to be the only game in town, which, of course, if you're ever going to be negotiating, that's the perfect position to be. I like the mouse, but I don't think it's big enough. But I really do like you guys, and I'm very inspired by what you've done. So I'm looking sort of beyond the mouse, really. I am going to make you an offer, the full amount. But I'd want 50%. If that's something that appeals to you, I'd love to make you that offer. When James made the offer, there was a kind of relief that, that flowed through us to say, oh, at last somebody is prepared to... Uh, to stick the neck out and go with us. It's a very flattering offer, James, and we thank you very much for that. We are uncomfortable with doing a straight 50-50 split, mm -hmm. frankly, and therefore, would there be any room for negotiation for us to move it so that we still retained a controlling interest in our business? Pretty happy, so you could own 51%. Okay. Control isn't my issue. OK. So if the control is, is the point, then I'm relaxed. OK, so could we move it to a 60-40 split, James? You got yourself a deal? Thank you. Excellent. Patty and David left the den with that all-important deal. But was James investing in the product or the couple themselves? Clearly, I thought... It was a great opportunity for me because I got a bit more than I bargained for. 
It was a great opportunity for them because they felt they'd negotiated at a level they were happy with. So both parties walk away and we think, what a fantastic result. A year has passed, and while it's still early days for their retail product, this is not the Bailey's first attempt at business. They have long and successful careers as training and sales consultants, so these are not the usual surroundings in which you might expect to find a start-up company. This is a great place, but we tend not to go anywhere. We tend to be based here and things revolve around this place. We do most of our negotiations from here in terms of Skype conferencing. Um, we tend not to leave the office. In fact, we do all our international negotiations and sales sat here. This was the uh, original product that we took into the den, as, uh, as you may recall. Um, and uh, this product um, has been fantastically successful. Um, and we've now got licenses for new products that we're bringing out. So we've got the original um, Classic Mini and the BMW Mini Cooper as well. And the Baileys are delighted with sales of the product. Their main source of sales is the in-flight market on the major airlines, selling a reported 35,000 units, and it's all managed from their own distribution base in the garage. Say, say. Um, this purchase order detail that's just come in from Emirates. But what does that all mean in cold, hard cash? Before the den, we had achieved sales for just over £70,000 and uh, by the end of our first year, we are on target to actually generate a million pounds worth of uh, sales revenue, which I can't tell you, I'm just so thrilled about. Just squealing with excitement and the champagne's on ice. I'm waiting for that moment. Impressive figures for the Warwickshire entrepreneurs. But how much is their dragon backer going to make from the executive toy? James actually isn't going to make a penny out of the success of this. The uh, investment money was made available to us, although we actually found that the business grew so quickly that we were able to finance it ourselves. Um, therefore, we've been able to move with James rather more quickly on to looking at other opportunities of working with him and his organisation in the future. And it's those other opportunities that are exciting James. As usual with these dragons, there's a bigger picture, with the opportunity of an even bigger return. They've proved exactly what I'd seen in the den. And they have, I think, the ability to translate some of their success into other businesses. So collectively, we've now put together a deal where they're becoming my dragons now. So every time we get an opportunity that's similar to where I think Pat and David can, can leverage their expertise, we're now going to collectively invest together and to build a portfolio just like I've got at Dragon's Den. And today, James, Patty and David's new den is opening for business. You all would like to see how this works. Their first business opportunity? A combined suitcase and chair. It's the sort of thing you might expect to see in the den, but it's been invented by a gentleman you might not expect to see pitching it. I have taken out a patent uh, for the special aspects of the design that uh, Graham Herbert has produced. James, so think, what's your gut feel on the price point, having seen it now for the first time? My gut feeling is that you couldn't get more than five pounds added to the price of the Roly, so it's a 25 pound retail product. It's an absolute <laughs> delight meeting you. It's very nice to see you. And you, you. lovely. Yes. Thank you very much. I think one of the things that I'm really pleased with, we've now got a whole strategy about future investments, future opportunities, but more importantly, I think I'm just really pleased that I stuck to my core principles, which is I back people, because it's people that make the difference. Well, I think it's just a year since we actually met James, and now we're sitting in meetings and he's asking us uh, you know, w w whether it's something that we, we want to jointly invest in. I yeah. mean, it's just an incredible roller coaster of, uh, of, of experience. It's been an amazing journey. 